<laughs> Next section of the pediatric assessment triangle is breathing. Specifically, the work of breathing. Is this child having a hard time breathing? So we're looking for head bobbing, we're looking for tugging, we're looking for nasal flaring, and we're listening for audible sounds that we don't need a stethoscope for. Do I hear grunting? Do I hear striderous sounds? Do I hear wheezing from across the room? That tells us this child is having a heck of a time breathing, they have an increased work of breathing, and we need to address that. Next up, circulation. How do you assess circulation from across the room? We're looking at their skin color. Is there pallor? Is this a pale kid? Is this a hypoxic kid? Is there cyanosis present? Another thing may be looking for redness, uh, periorbital edema, which may indicate an allergic reaction. This could lead to distributive shock, which is definitely a circulatory issue. So we want to look at this kid's color from across the room. So again, the components of the pediatric assessment triangle. One, appearance. How do they appear mentally? B, breathing. Is there work of breathing? Is this child having a hard time breathing? C, circulation, skin color. Do we have signs of hypoperfusion? I'm Mark, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.